What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, yesterday I went over to Washington Commander's training camp to check out the competition and things with my buddy Rio. You know, it's a, it's kind of, you kind of feel dirty when you go over to Commander's uh, headquarters over there. You look at the bubble where it looks like some of the straps are literally broken uh, coming apart up in there um, it's just you just feel dirty but um, I was talking with Rio because Rio was like man I would love for uh, the the command center to be coming to Virginia with the new stadium and stuff but the location that they have to me that they've been talking about it's not the ones it's gonna be a nightmare as far as traffic goes right there on 95 if you've ever tried to go from DC down there to uh, Woodbridge where they're talking about during rush hour, like if it's a Monday night game, it's a couple hours. And if there's a football game, it will literally be, you know, a pack a lunch and leave the day before. But anyway, what might end up being another piece into keeping the sports team in Maryland is the Washington Commanders have been approved for a betting facility license um, with the Maryland Lottery and Gaming Control. Um, and I dare say that going to FedEx Field right now, you are gambling with your life the way that place is literally falling apart. But apparently they have one more um, hurdle to go over. And if they get that, they will actually be building a separate sports book betting site on the, on the grounds. Um, and I'd find it hard to believe that the Washington Commanders would spend money to build a facility there only for five years because that's when the lease is up with FedEx field. But then again, maybe they'll look at making enough money that they don't care about that. But Dan Snyder, we have a Dan Snyder sighting. He has said FedEx field has been dramatically upgraded leading up to the season. Okay. He expects big attendance for the year. He did not directly address any potential plans for the retail sports book at the stadium during the hearing. We're very optimistic on the season. We, have fi we finally have ourselves a quarterback, Snyder said. The approval application now heads to the SWARC for approval. If approved, it will head back to the MLGCA to, the awarded, to be awarded to the commanders. The timeline sets up a potential opening of the sports book sometime during the upcoming season. And they would be among of the original 17 entities in Maryland to actually be able to get this. So, they would actually be able to be a sports book. Interesting. Now, my thing is, and this is where I was saying with my buddy Rio, that I think that their, you know, lease on the uh, 100 acres site in Virginia was a way to try and force the hand of Maryland to get a better deal. Because ultimately, Maryland really wants them. Maryland really wants them. Virginia basically originally was talking about a billion dollars for them. Then it went down to half a billion to now. It's like, no, we're not putting any money in behind you guys. And so ultimately, I think that um, a new stadium will go up over where FedEx is now. I just feel like that's going to be the thing. And now with them being able to have a sports book there and for them to go ahead and start building facility, that they may look at this and say, we build this sports book facility and then we can start working on building a new stadium here and building a whole entertainment system because ultimately if you have a betting facility there that's going to entice people there even when the gaming games aren't going on and that's ultimately what they want to have is they want to have 24 7 be able to make money off of that because they ain't making money off the football team all right good people that's all i got for you i'll catch you later peace